Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to my monthly predictive reading for April 2020. Cross-watcher energies are interchangeable, and please only take those portions that resonate with you. This is a general reading. Okay, Pisces, off camera to save time, I've performed a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. And we will be using a card from the Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. This is a really beautiful deck, you guys. Your first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere, the situation at hand. The Nine of Pentacles, Pisces, Earth Energy. Here you are spending some time alone with your things around you that you love, your pets, your stuff. This is luxury, self-reliance, self-sufficiency, uh, discipline. It's feeling secure and there's abundance around you. It's material well-being and well-controlled thought. It's solitary enjoyment of the good life. Love of gardens and home. It's earned rewards and fruits of labor. This is someone that tamed their impulses, just like the bird that they tamed on their arm, and it may be a time to act with such discipline. And you will accomplish much by taming your instincts. It's harnessing self-discipline, but the pressure is off for now. It's taking it easy and taking your time. This is taking time, a break, to enjoy life. Maybe smell the roses. It's now time that you have some freedom to be yourself. Maybe it's better than you expected. It's living an ordered life and not having to work so hard. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences. The Knight of Cups, Pisces, water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This can be you. It can also be in someone else's chart that you know. This has to do with the coming or going of a matter. It's uh, happy emotions and pleasant surprises. It's following your emotions and continuing on working on yourself. But do not be surprised if you change your priorities and go with your emotions. This be, can be keeping warmth for a person and showing your love. It can be a message. This person would be dreamy and emotional and they chase a dream. They're making advances, propositions, invitations, asking you out on a date. This can be your Mr. or Mrs. Wright, your knight in a white horse your true love, or this person is full of conflicts, they have uh, emotional intensity, they're a spiritual seeker, an artist, a flirt, they're impulsive and they follow their heart and their dreams, and they share their vision with others. This is a soul connection. These can be heightened emotions, sincere emotion, following your heart, making amends, even offering forgiveness. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of. The Ten of Wands, Pisces, Fire Energy. This is a card of feeling burdened, oppressed, feeling like the whole world is on your shoulders. It's something you cannot let go of. It's a responsibility. It might be wearing you down. It's a problem that is soon to be solved, and you've been working hard has to do with beginnings and endings, ambitious burdens, a heart tried by pain, its fortune and gain and any kind of success, and it's the uh, oppression of these things. You might be feeling resentful. You might be feeling like your labor has gone for naught, or you might be carrying burdens that don't all really belong to you. But it's up to you to decide whether to continue carrying these heavy responsibilities you've undertaken, or maybe other people are shirking their part and they should help out. So make sure others are doing their fair share and else for help, ask for help if you need it and don't let pride stand in the way. Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Wands is the good life being oppressed. Your fourth card. It's the position of the future. It's the outcome. The results. The Ten of Pentacles, Pisces. Now this is really good. Earth Energy. It's your second ten in your layout. 
which represents change. Ten of Pentacles is Mercury in Virgo. This is legacy, ancestors, home. It's a solid and secure life. It's security and material comfort. It's permanence with wealth and wisdom and physical security. It can represent the establishment or conventional thinking. It's a completion with stability. This is long-term stability. It can be passive income and investments. If you, if you have a question as to how things should be done, you can think back to the way your elders would have solved the problem. This can represent someone that's wise beyond their years. Family is supportive. And there's stability from money. The Nine of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles is disagreements over money. Could even be a trust fund. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue, this is what's unseen. It's unseen, it's because it's something that you're not sharing with others, yet you are consciously aware of this. The Page of Cups, Pisces, more water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. This represents successful manifestation and wishing, paying attention to your synchronicities and hunches and sensitivity. This can be a, a message, it can be news of an emotional nature. It carries some emotional risk, and you'll find out where you'll stand, and you'll feel things will work out. This can be the birth of a child, or psychic ability beginning to emerge, its thoughts and dreams, news of a new love or lover that's imminent, someone that's sensitive and helpful. There's new insights, cups or ideas from the subconscious. This is expressing your wishes and your fears clearly and directly. The fish is a symbol of creative imagination, and the water represents the feelings and the unconscious mind. This can be the birth of creative imagination and new life. This can be someone that's intuitive. They might act on a hunch. Could be news about a new creative project or adventure, or romantic news, renewing a relationship through kind words and romantic gestures, flirting. The page of, or the nine of pentacles with the page of cups is turning in a situation around. It's reaching emotional balance and security. Also, pregnancy. The Knight of Cups with the Ten of Wands is preoccupied with a oppressive situation, feelings being repressed. The Knight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles or emotions are connected to stability and security. It can be an emotional time with your family. The Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups is news of emotional feelings. It's a message of good things, invitations, desires, wants, and about they're about to go forward. It's moving forward with a dream. The Ten of Wands with the Ten of Pentacles is hoping the load is worth carrying. It's extending yourself for family and security. In those tens, two tens together, it equals change. The Ten of Wands with the Page of Cups is wanting to escape responsibility. It's setbacks and frustrations with a new emotional situation. It can also represent an unhappy teenager. Ten of Pentacles with the Page of Cups is the moment just before transformation. It's a kind and sincere message that transforms your life. Here's your card from the deck. Archangel Power Tarot Cards by Radley Valentine. The Five of Gabriel, which is the same as the Five of Wands. A challenge you can resolve. Withdraw from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. You may have, you have, you have what it takes to solve this puzzle. You may not have all the pieces just yet, but working with others and finding compromise is the way to come to a peaceful resolution. Some of the interpersonal conflicts and challenges that you're experiencing may very well be reflections of struggles you're having within yourself. Stand back and take a look at the big picture. Listen carefully to other people's viewpoints. When you draw this card, it's recommended to withdraw from the drama of others if you can do so gracefully. Healthy competition can make you stronger and be very fulfilling. Keep your intentions, intentions positive and your ethics of the highest caliber. Additional meanings, multiple situations vying for your attention, dramatic people, petty quarrels, and sporting events. 
Thanks, you guys, Pisces. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.